time when Northampton, I remember uh, we went down to Northampton. They hadn't been beaten for about two and a half years. Um, it was sort of Fortress Franklin Gardens and all this sort of stuff. And we'd we'd gone down there. We weren't fancied in the Premiership, and uh, we we started, you know, like a house on fire. I think we went about seventeen nil, nineteen nil up, something like that, and then managed to hang on for the rest of the game against the barrage of uh, Saints attack and. That was an absolute awesome win. Um, I remember, I think it was the LV Cup when we went down to Quinns in the semi-finals. Again, probably weren't fancied. Um, we managed to, you know, with the last play of the game, pull it out of the bag and managed to put ourselves in a final, which we hadn't been in for ages, um, which was which was awesome. And I remember it was a good bus trip back from that. Um, just trying to think as well, and then just I suppose from a personal level, winning something uh, the JP Morgan sevens. Um, you know, I'm not I haven't played that much seven stuff, but I got involved in that year, and uh, we weren't fancied again as per with Newcastle. Um, we weren't particularly playing the sevens brand of rugby. Um, we had a great group, uh, group of blokes, and uh, a lot of those guys on. You know, best mates with and stuff, and uh, we got the win, and that was a that was a great time, um, and uh, and a good memory for me here. You know, I've been here for years. I'd love to win something with the club, and uh, all the signs. I, I know everyone always says it, and, but all the signs are. You know, the the clubs going places, especially the signs we've made for next year. Uh, the young guys we've got coming through. I mean, we're building a, hopefully a you know competitive squad that's that's going to do something and and build and blossom together. Um, but you know we are going to these games. But I know we've been unfancied for years. But you've got to earn your respect a little bit. And uh, maybe those teams haven't fancied us because we've finished around the bottom of the league. So if we do want to be earning this respect and stuff, we need to be winning games and, you know, expecting wins of each other. Uh, I've got a, a lot of great pals through um, through being at the Falcons and being on many a good holiday with the lads at the end of the season that just strengthen those bonds and, you know, uh, make those memories um, that you'll take on after your rugby career and, you know, They've been brilliant. I can't even believe it's 200 appearances, uh, um, but it's just um, I, I remember with, with my dad and my brother coming to watch the games as a kid, and never at that time would I thought I would have, you know, possibly made 200 appearances for the club. Like this is the club that I've supported since I was a kid, and uh, yeah, it gives me great sort of satisfaction to know that. I've played my part a little bit with the Falcons and uh, yeah, I might have had offers from other clubs, but um, you know, for one reason or another, whether it's I, I wanted to play games or I was I like the way the club was going and I, I, you know, I saw the vision for the club and and also that I wanted to win something with the club that would be a massive thing for me. Um, I've I've stayed around and thankfully been able to, you know, stay part of the coach's plans here and managed to, you know, hang on <laughs> hang on for ten years and and over this extension as well for for a bit longer. <laughs>